This is David with Hanson Carlin Architecture and Construction. Today we're going to talk to you about forming and specifically forming in the rock. Every contractor I know always has in their contract something called a rock clause, meaning when uh, we dig and if we hit rock underground, we're going to charge extra for that because nobody knows what's underground and when you hit rock, it can make the digging, you know, two, three, five times longer, depending on what you have to do. Can't even touch it. Wood stake, no way. This is traditionally how we would form with wood stakes. You're never gonna be able to drive anything in this. We had a different idea here. We um, used the, um, these John A brackets to uh, space these forms because we came up with a way that I had never seen before to uh, maybe quicken this process of, of uh, forming on rock. We're gonna use these, these brackets here are typically used for forming walls for the foundation walls. We're using them on footings. We were able to buy them in the width footing that we're using, which is 18 inch. And these brackets have a, have a, a hinge thing on them that, that you can tighten them. So what this is gonna do for us is it's gonna keep our spacing at 18 inches, and it's also gonna keep the form from blowing out uh, because we don't not gonna have uh, the, the normal banking that we would put on this. So we're gonna take these, this gets a this gets a two by four in it. That's gonna hold it straight. And then we're, all we're gonna do is take and, and level of this thing, and we're gonna pour our mud extra stiff and we're gonna do a lot less banking than we would normally do. So this is gonna speed up the process. I've never seen anybody do this and I think it's gonna be a great time saver for us. This might be one of the easier ways of doing it that I've done in the past. What do you it's, think the advantages are? Well, there's a lot of advantages, especially with as rocky as this ground is, you can't drive stakes. So in order to, to stop from having to drive so many stakes to hold forms on elevation, this system allows me just to, to free span in eight foot areas where I can just uh, nail a stake to hold the form in place and let it set on the rock. The form itself is just self-contained. It's held together with the whalers and the snap ties and uh, it, it's all one unit. It all becomes just basically a solid unit and makes it a, a lot easier to uh, install in a system like this. This is one of the easier ways I've done it, especially as hard as this ground is. I mean, it was just really, we, David and I had no option. We had to come up with a better idea than what it used to be. Code requires us to install radon pipe in, in here to take the radon gas from under the slab and get rid of it out the roof. So I put block outs in in order so that way once the slab is poured, it's easy for me to tear that out of there so I can run a tube under the footer, which allows all my tubes in the entire building to be connected. And so then behind you here, I'm also going to put in what's called a, 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 a French drain to take care of any hydraulics that come up, any water that permeates up through the soil underneath the slab. So I put these, these in because they're at an angle heading for my, my drain that's going to head off that direction to daylight. And so I angled these so it would just be a lot easier instead of having to do a bunch of elbows and corners and stuff in the drain pipe, I can just basically install it. All right, so yesterday we got it all, the forms all in, and uh, we're all braced up and inspected and ready to go, waiting for mud.